cave behind the waterfall. Oh shit. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go. Made it. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. Hey, just keep, keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on right now. We're gonna be fine. <laughs> ah! Good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Onward and upward. Let's not get stuck here. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Jesus. Oh, my spine. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, Victor. What were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. Oh, oh hey. shit. You take this slow, kid. Yeah. Nathan, you're thinking Avery, Two, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on him. Sure. Maybe uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. <laughs> Let's go check out that tower. I'll come with. Pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower along with providing the men for it. Well, whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. Some big plans for this winch. There, that ought to do it. Ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. 
Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. <laughs> Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. Ha <laughs> poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. <laughs> it's taken forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor, patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. The point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah, well, it's still taking a long time. Hey, Nathan, check out that cave there. <laughs> Uh, one sec. Bring me back something shiny. Oh, that was fun. Oh, hey! How oh, would you look at that? Shit, stop, stop! Sam. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. That means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight to them. Oh, shit. You do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead.
Okay, I think that's it. Yeah. Damn it, Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. I mean, they, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Look, another sigil. Huh. Adam Baldridge. He ran King's Bay for a while. He was a traitor, slaver, general scoundrel. Look at you. Yeah. Prison. A lot of books. Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now, how do we get out of here?
Again with the winch, Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, all right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Rafe? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercenary. So Rafe's got the advantage there. Stay put. You see something? <laughs> Thanks for waiting. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. Singing the same damn thing. What if they found the treasure already? Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Hey, Sam, you don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, re... Um... Hey, you think that old building's worth checking out? Damn, you were saying? No, that's right, I was. Uh, anyway, uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard, saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books from the library for me. So what'd you read? History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. But, you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking. Hey, is that a well? Well, well, well. <laughs> Get it? You know, because it's a well. Sully, you stole your joke. I noticed. Good sense of humor, though. Hey, what are you doing? It might come in handy. What have we here? Hey, Sully, throw the car in reverse. Okay. Damn, these pirates weren't messing around. Okay, what do we have here? Huh? 
So? Nothing major. I'll show you back at the hotel. Sam, you were saying? No, that's right, I was. Uh, anyway. Smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs. It's a whole lot of thinking. That's pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to... Uh... Ah, you know. See that smoke? Oh, shoreline, slow down. So, we were talking about... Um, oh, right. Uh... Check this out. What if that's man-made or natural? Looks to me to be half and half. Sam, you were saying? No, that's right, I was. Uh, anyway. Oh, I tried. I asked them to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. Well, that would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he expected. Anything in that pit? Oh, check it out. Maybe there's something down there. You know, come to think of it, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago, even before I met you two. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? Well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. Still working his way up the criminal ladder then. I sold his boss a few woodcut prints I'd smuggled out of Japan. He was into shoguns and such. Alcazar was the go-between. What was he like? Soft-spoken, but intense. Like you could explode at the slightest provocation. <laughs> well, he hasn't changed much then, has he? I got my money oh. and got the hell out of there. Looks like Shoreline found something. Go slow. You got it. Sam, what were you talking about? Uh, oh, right. Well, he hasn't changed much then, has he? I got my money and got the hell out of there. I'm gonna hop out for a look. What you got? Let's Joe, roll. Pirate walks into a boat. Okay, here we go. And he's got the steering wheel sticking out of his crotch. All right. So the bartender goes, hey man, what's with the wheel? And the pirate says back, ah, it's driving me nuts. 
<laughs> ah, I love that one. Don't make me leave you out here. What was that? Nothing. What the? See what's in there. Check it out, boys. What is it? You can probably see all of King's Bay from up here. Yeah. Hey, look. There's the city. And there's the river valley. I'll let you look at this. Quite the view. I just keep waiting to wake up and find myself in solitary or something. <laughs> it's all some kind of dream. Sam. No, oh, no, no guilt trip. I'm just... Let's go find this thing. You bet.
So, how are you doing? Yeah, still in one piece. I appreciate you coming along for the ride. And especially for negotiating with that rental guy. <laughs> no problem. Hell, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't enjoying myself. <laughs> Me too. Hey guys, there's another tower just over the hill. See any shoreline marks? Can't tell. Well, it would appear we got here first. Let's uh, check the place out and keep moving. Drawbridge? How medieval. Yeah. Well, you don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to keep people out. Or protect something inside. Sigil. So, do you recognize this one? I do, actually. Anne Bonnie. Hmm? Operated out of the Caribbean. I thought she died in jail. At least that's what the stories tell us. <laughs> right. Avery must have invited her, too. Check out that drawbridge. Sounds good. Hey, be careful, kid. <laughs> and there's the busted. There's no way up to the drawbridge, Craig. All right, I'll see if there's something up here. There's a massive tower just past the drawbridge. Biggest one yet. All right, I'm up. Be careful. Bingo. Sam! Special delivery! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, kid. You all right? I'm fine. You all right? Yeah. You got this? Mm-hmm. I seen a few. I'll bring the car closer. Are you two just relax? I got this. There's only one crank, you know. <laughs> Keep up the good work, kid. Ah, ah, so oh. I come. Oh. 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 Oh.
Must be theirs. Form a grid. I want them fast. <laughs> that bridge down.
Try that again. There we go. Big tower on a volcano. Looks like the end's in sight, huh? <laughs> Let me know when I can open my eyes. Yeah, not to nitpick, but Avery spent all that money on towers. Would it have killed him to put a guardrail up here? Gonna take a look around. So just how much do you owe Alcazar? Uh, half. Half of what? Well, he only knows about the Gunsway heist. Which is worth 400 million. Right, but if Nathan's theory is correct, then there's a lot more treasure. Well, you should have told him it was 200,000. You'd never tell your partners how much a job is really worth. I wasn't exactly expecting to be part of it. All set. Here we go. Slip and slide. <laughs> uh oh. Sharing this one with my shrink. <laughs> Wait, you have a shrink? No, but I will after this. Come on, you guys are overreacting. Get the whole thing under control. <laughs> Hold on to something. <laughs> ah. Ah, that was a nice change of pace. Yeah, I'm almost disappointed. Almost. Now, let's find our way in. Let's go claim our treasure, boys.
Can't get in that way. Sam, give me a hand with this. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Huh. Looks like there's something back here. Sam? Yeah. Let's do this. Damn. It's breaked over. All right, let's look around. Hey, careful with that thing, kid. <clears throat> Heads up! Jesus! I said heads up! He seems excited. Uh, he's got a lot riding on this. Don't see a treasure, though. Hey, guys. Coming. Check this out. St. Dismas. We meet again. So, what do we got? More sigils. There's our boy Avery. Thomas, too. And that's, uh... Um... That's Adam Baldridge. That's uh, Joseph Farrell. And that's Richard Warren. Hmm. Pirate captains. All right, so maybe your pirate pool theory wasn't so ridiculous after all. <laughs> all right, so, uh... 
Let's see, what do you think the trick is here? Gotta push a button, pull something? Uh, maybe, maybe one of the arms, or... Yeah, give it a shot. <coughs> Come on. Boys. <coughs> Whenever you're done fondling poor St. Dismas, I think you might want to come take a look at this. Trapezoid is obviously the volcano. The crown, that's King's Bay. We got ourselves a map, gentlemen. Hector, you're a goddamn genius. Hear that, Nate? Genius. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if we're here, this tower lines up with Avery's sigil. Okay, so then the other sigils must be the towers from Avery's time. Well, I mean, a treasure's got to be in one of them, right? Yeah, but which one? I count 12 towers. Hey, uh, Victor? Huh? You didn't start smoking cigarettes by any chance, did you? Looks like we're not the first ones here. Let's hope so. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, fuck. Sam? Yeah, over here. <clears throat> hey, what are you doing? Confirming a suspicion. Shit. Look at this. They figured out the towers, too. Locations, sigils, the works. So now what? Now what? Now we're screwed, okay? Because there's three of us, and there's God knows how many of them, and they have a head start? Yeah, but they don't know which tower to go to yet. Well, that's great, Nathan, because neither do we. Yes, we do. <laughs> Look, it's a little worn down. Right there, that's a match. Yeah, are you sure? Because, I mean, it could be this one, too. Crap. 
Yeah, but still, two beats the hell out of 12. All right, I'm gonna take this tower. You and Sully, you take that one. No, 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 no. no Rafe's guys are all over these towers by now. Exactly, so if we wanna have a chance to catch them, then we've gotta split up. Uh, Sam, just hold up a second, will you? Nate, he's right. These towers are at opposite ends of King's Bay. Damn it. Uh, if you run into any of those shoreline clowns, you call us, okay? See you soon. Come on, Nate. We gotta hurry. Yeah. <laughs> 